Welcome to day 69 of the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Sharon Horn Austin here, sipping a little coffee. <clears throat> Usually in the hopes of clearing my throat, but it doesn't always work. Today we are jumping into the S of the SOAP framework. Yesterday we came up with something that we wanted to improve with respect to our mental health, our mental well-being, our mental state. So that would include thoughts, beliefs, um, ideas, thinking, mindset, anything related to our brain or our mind, our thoughts or our beliefs would be something that we may or may not want to improve. So <clears throat> I decided what I'm going to soap up and apply the soap framework to, and we're going to talk about the S today, the story or the situation, both our current story and then our desired story. Why? Because when we do that, it creates the gap and it, it clearly identifies the gap between where we are and where we want to be. And that's the very first step in achieving what it is that we want and getting improvement in any area or aspect of our life. So <clears throat> we want to have some type of storytelling techniques or tools that we can use to help us to identify our current story, what's going on right now, and then what do we really want our story with respect to our mental well-being, our mental health to be. So I'm picking... I want to impact and have more positive thinking. I want positive thinking to be more automatic to me. Now, have I been working on this one for years? Absolutely. Will I be done this year? Probably not. It's kind of like continuous improvement. It is a an ongoing lifetime endeavor, right? Because we always want to become a better version of ourselves. I always want to be more positive, more of a, a, a light shining on other people in the world than maybe is automatic to my nature, right? Just like most of us humans, negativity is all around us. We're so surrounded with us. How do we get from negative to positive almost immediately? So <clears throat> my current position, and what I wanna do specifically with that is increase my positive self-talk, be my own cheerleader, because I know that if I can have my, my self-talk positive, that's negating those negative thoughts and stopping them in their tracks when they pop into my head. Will they always pop into my head? I don't know, I haven't figured out if anybody has a way to, to not have them pop into my head at all, let me know, but I haven't found a tool or a trick or a strategy or technique that prevents all negative thoughts and beliefs from ever popping into my mind or my brain. That's probably a way to eliminate them uh, more permanently than I have, but I don't know that technique yet. I haven't gotten to a level of personal development or growth that's allowed me to figure that out or see that yet. So my soap, my mental well-being, mental health area that I want to improve for this run through the soap framework is positive self-talk in order to control my positive thinking, right? And, and contribute to that. So I want to be a little more specific than just say, I want to think more positively. That, that's kind of hard to work on. So positive self-talk is something I can literally identify if I'm if I'm saying negative things in my head, that would be negative self-talk. If I'm saying positive things in my head, that's positive self-talk. So how often am I doing that? That's something I can actually add a smart goal to and measure, right? So what are some current storytelling techniques that we can use? We're going to talk about a lot of these throughout this year. I, I try to do a different one every one of the nine different areas and aspects of our life, but I end up repeating some because like everybody else, I have my favorite tools, my go-to tools. Uh, but today we're going to we could visualize, we could uh, do guided meditations, we could do who, what, where, when, why, and how the journalistic framework. We could use questioning frameworks. I've got a five question framework I use to tell a story a lot of the time. And we'll cover all those, but today, the one I wanna cover, it's a little bit new, is the use of metaphors and analogies to get clear on our thoughts, our experiences, our feelings around our mental well-being and the, and the story that we're telling ourselves. So we can use metaphors and analogies to help us dig deeper into and identify what's our current story. What are the thoughts and beliefs that we're having or the mindset that we're in when we're in our current story about this particular topic of mental well-being, the one that we're covering and we want to improve. And then what do we want it to be? <clears throat> so metaphors are as blank as a blank, right? So if I want to eliminate negative thoughts and negative self-talk as immediately as quickly as it happens it might pop into my head as fast as a speeding train or as fast as lightning right or an analogy would be like the devil and the angel sitting on my shoulder I could I could think about that and I'm like okay well negative thoughts negative self-talk is like the little devil on my shoulder and positive self-talk is like the 
little angel on my shoulder. How could I use that to help me identify more clearly my current story and my desired story? So that's just a couple quick examples. I have not ferreted out mine for today yet. I just decided this morning that I was gonna use metaphors and analogies, some that I could come up with that would help me to get deeper on my current and my desired story. So that's all we're doing today, our action item. Identify, You yesterday we identified the thing we were gonna work on. <clears throat> today, we're gonna start to tell the story about that. What is my current story? What am I telling myself? And maybe it just as you go about your day, <clears throat> things pop into your head and you realize, oh, this is something, oh my goodness, my throat, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, morning throat. As you're going about your day, you'll notice things that trigger and, and I'll notice your mental thing that you're looking at. I'll notice things that trigger my positive or negative self-talk. And I know they happen every day, right? Positive and negative self-talk happens in my head every day. I just want to squeeze down and shrink the negative and increase the positive. So squeeze it like a pancake. I don't know. <laughs> squeeze it like a watermelon. Whatever. I'll think of some analogies and some uh, metaphors to help me identify my story as I go throughout the day. So just identify your story so that we know what the gap is between where you are and where you wanna be. That's what today is all about. Questions, hit me up. Thoughts, concerns, ask, just ask. You can message me, direct message me. You can pajamagram at Gmail, Voxer me. It's a walkie talkie app, whatever works for you. All right, have a great day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow. Bye, go tell your story.